what's up, man. Yo, subscribe to the channel, man, and share this video for me. Hit that like button. What's up? What's up? Hit that like button, man, and uh, share this video. Big Lou, Aunt Tiberico, Tiberio, 973. Yo, Aunt, what's up? 973. Big Lou, what up? Big Lou down there in Tampa, Florida. Thank y'all for the likes, man. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Y'all, thank y'all, man. Thank y'all, man. Thank y'all, man. Appreciate you, man. Listen, man, no matter how much they love you, no matter how much they love you, no matter how much history you got, no matter what y'all been through, no matter how long Y'all go back, you know their mother, they know your, your mother, you've been to their house, they've been to your house, you went to the wedding, you went to the baby shower. Big Lou. None of that don't, none of that will matter. If it get tight for them, if they get in a rough, rough space, if they get in a tough spot, they will betray you. They will betray you. You could, they could be the father of your daughter, the father of your son, could be the mother of your children. Your main man, your main man, your main man, your wife, your, it could be anybody. No matter how much they love you and no, much, no matter how many times they told you that they loved you and no matter how many times you told them that you love them. No matter how many times y'all told each other you loved each other, no matter how many times you showed each other that you loved each other, man, if the shit go down and they get in a fucked up spot, they will betray your ass. They will betray you. 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 They will cut your throat and shoot you in the head and leave you for dead. Yes, they will. Hit that like button. Hit the like button, y'all. Hit it. Always keep that on the forefront of your dome. Keep that on your hard drive and don't let no malware and no spyware and no virus get in your hard drive and flip you around and turn you inside out and make you believe that you understand they won't they won't do you in jamil what's up man they will do you in they will do you in always remember that part Because when they do it, when it happens to you, and it will, when it's your turn, if you understand and accept what I'm saying to you, and if you look at it from a logical standpoint, 
when it happens to you, you won't go through the vicissitudes and the perpetual questions of yourself. Why did they do this to me? Yo, how could they do this to me? How could he do that to me? How could she do that to me? How they did that to me? How you gonna do that to me? You gonna do that to me? Word, that's what it, like that? You won't go through all that because you'll understand that the human being, the human being is a sophisticated, evolved animal with social graces. Behind his political correctness, behind his command of the social graces, behind his uh, facade and his uniform and his uh, costume that he has, where he presents to you that he's a human with values and morals and principles, behind all of that is a fucking animal. That's who he is. That's who he is. We've all been misled into believing that the human is somehow uh, imbued with judgment and reason and choices and decision making, which he is. But at his very core, he's no different from a pack of wildebeest. He's no different from a pack of wild dogs, a school of dolphin, a school of sharks, a school of piranha. He's no different. He's the same thing, right? And as long as you remember that and you keep that up front, then your broken heart won't hurt as bad because you'll understand that the human being is just a trash can and that you really were at fault for putting him or her on a pedestal that they never should have been placed on. They never should have been placed on. You understand? The first law of nature is self-preservation. That's the first law of nature. You understand? And I don't have the solution. I don't have the answer. And I'm not here to tell you how to handle this one or that one or that one. You do whatever you want to do. It's your life. You got to get your own experience. You understand? I'm just as uh, confused and perplexed as you are. You understand? I'm just as conf Thank everybody for the 29 likes. Appreciate you. You understand? But don't never, don't never think, don't never fix your mind to say, my man won't do that to me. My homegirl, she won't handle me like that. Don't never fix your mind to think that. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Um, that's human life. This is life, you know. And and this is what this is what this is what humans do. And it has nothing to do, in my opinion, with uh, the times that we living in, the state of the world that we live in. This has been going on and it's been like this for tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of years. It's been like this. Human beings have been jerking each other, backstabbing each other, you understand? Just being, being humans, being animals, you understand? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Don't fool yourself. Don't fool yourself. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Thank y'all for this for the uh thank y'all for the uh for the likes, man. Appreciate y'all.
Yeah. Don't never put nobody, don't never put nobody above betraying you. Don't never do that. Don't never think your girl or your wife won't fuck nobody else. Don't never do that. Don't never set yourself up for that. And ladies, don't think your man won't fuck somebody else either. Oh shit, y'all saw that? Fell down? Shit scared me. Don't never fix your mind. You don't know what nobody will do. You have no idea. You don't know what you will do. You can't promise nobody. You can't promise nobody you won't do something uh, forever. And you don't know what you'll do next Wednesday. You don't, you can't promise nobody nothing. And if you promising people that you can do something for the rest of your life, you lying because you don't know. You don't know. All you can say is what you haven't done, right? Say what you never done. Never say what you won't do because you don't know what you'll do in any situation. You don't know what may happen, what may push you to, uh, John Nassar, what's up? You don't know what you'll do. I don't know what I'll do. You understand? Can't promise nobody nothing, man. I don't know what, what I'll do tomorrow. You understand? You know, it's all a dice roll. <laughs> it's all a dice roll, you know? This is life, this is life. You don't know what the fuck you'll do tomorrow. You don't know, no you don't. You don't know what you'll do. If things get rough, if it get tight, if the food supply get tight, if they turn off the electricity in America or in the world, if all the electricity goes down in the world and there's no food, and four or five days go by and you ain't had nothing to eat. You'll eat your pet. You'll eat Fluffy. You'll eat Fluffy, your cat, and your dog, Chango, your dog Chango, you'll eat Chango and you'll eat Fluffy. You don't know what you'll do if you get hungry. To survive. To survive. To survive, you don't know what you'll do. You don't know. You don't know. So, try not to make promises and say things out your mouth that you don't know what you'll do. I don't know. I can't tell you that. And don't you tell me that. Any motherfucker that be trying to tell me, oh, I'll never do this to you, Sean, I'll never do that to you. I know I'm dealing with somebody that is used to using words flippantly, right? And, um, you know what I'm saying? They just used to saying things and they used to dealing with people that aren't really 
centered and rooted in reality. See, my religion is reality. I don't follow no other religion, but other than what I see and what you say and what's in front of me. You understand? That's a red truck. I see that red truck. I see them two orange cones, three orange cones. I don't need to do this and pray and oh, to see that. I can see that. I know that's there. My religion is reality, right? Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Because I ain't going to lie to me. Yes, sir. And don't feel shame. When they, when they thank, thank the 41 people for the like buttons, man. Don't feel shame. Don't feel embarrassed. When these people betray you, and they will, you're going to get your turn. When they betray you, and when they cut your throat and stab you in the back, and sell you down the river and hang you out to dry and leave you for dead. Don't feel shame and don't feel embarrassed. Just know that that's a part of the game. That that's a part of the game. That it happens to everybody. Yo, Quan, what's up? That happens to everybody. You ain't no punk, you ain't soft, you ain't no chump, you understand? Because you 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 over trusted, you trusted somebody, and uh you understand you 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 open the door for them and you got burned. It happens to everybody, man. That don't make you weak, that don't make you no clown or no sucker. Everybody plays the fool. Sometimes there's no exceptions to the rule. Listen, baby, maybe factual, maybe cruel. Sometimes everybody plays the fool. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, you know, the main thing for you, for me, what I got to do is I just live my life. Right? I live my life and, um, you know, I got a lot of experience at life. That don't mean I'm not subject to, uh, that don't mean I'm not subject to make a, make a mistake or get open and, and set myself up for pain. I'm eligible. I'm eligible for that. Everybody's eligible. Hit that like button. How many like buttons I got? 48. Thank y'all for hitting the like button for me, man. All 48 of y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yes, sir, brother. This is real life. What I'm telling you is real life. You understand? Like I told you yesterday, I ain't no gangster. I'm a scholar. I don't want to be no motherfucking gangster. Who want to be some stupid shit like that? The, the, the life expectancy ain't long. The retirement prospects are not good. It wouldn't be nothing I would want to show little Sean. I don't never want little Sean to go to federal prison or use drugs or drink alcohol like I did or go to jail. I would never want him. I would never want that for him. Never. Never. A lot of you dudes, a lot of you dudes look to YouTubers and rappers as uh, uh, as leaders. A lot of y'all look at YouTubers and rappers as leaders, and these niggas is dumb and young and ain't got no experience in life other than making mistakes and you niggas follow them and some of y'all be older than the dude that you look up to you look up to rappers because this nigga could rap he could be an informant he could be a pedophile he could be a liar 
but because he can rap and he on a video with seven million views, you niggas look up to him and you try to emulate these people. You lost, you lost, you lost. If you really had a chance to follow these dudes around, if you really had a chance, if you really had a chance to follow these dudes around, you would look at them and be like, yo, this nigga is corny. He corny. He stay high. He stay showing up late. He stay missing appointments. He's very disrespectful. I mean, I don't know none of them. But uh, that's who y'all look up to. And some of y'all in your 30s and 40s and you still looking up to young dudes and wanna be young and act like them. You got no direction in life. You lost, you're a lost man. Mitch is Goody Park, what's up? Marcus, what's up, man? You a lost man. These niggas are beneath me. These rappers are beneath me, man. All of them. All of them. All these YouTubers. Niggas couldn't sit down and dialogue with me, man, and conversate with me. My range. I got too much range. My range, man. I got range. Right? Like I told you, I'm a scholar. I got range. You want to talk about business, entrepreneurship, you want to talk about uh, ancient Greek philosophy and Greek philosophers. You want to talk about uh, Egyptian sages, Egyptian seers, and 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 philosophers. You know, you want to talk about Wall Street or world politics, geopolitical situations. You want to talk about drugs, prison, streets. Whatever, whatever. I, 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 can, I, can, I can go I can go anywhere. You wanna sit down and dialogue about higher loftier spiritual issues and topics? These niggas are dumb, man. I don't follow nobody, man. I don't follow nobody. I follow I follow what's right and what's good. I follow what's right and what's good. That's what I follow. I live right. I live right. And I don't need to go to no religious place, no church, no mosque, no temple, no nothing to listen to another human being tell me right and wrong. I know when I'm doing wrong and I know when I'm doing right. I be conscious as a motherfucker. I don't drink, I don't get high. So when I do wrong, I decide, yo, I'm doing this. Yo, Sean, that's wrong. I don't give a fuck, I'm doing it anyway. I don't need nobody to tell me, yo, that's wrong, you need. I know it's wrong before I do it. And I know what's right. But I choose to do wrong or I choose to do right. That be on me. I don't blame nobody. A lot of y'all be blaming God and you the one in the mirror. You be looking at yourself in the mirror, but you blame God for your whole life. You's a weakling. You weak. You weak. You weak. You weak. You weak. You weak. And you've been miseducated. You've been miseducated. You've been miseducated. And it's gonna be late when you find out. That's why like a lot of older people when I was younger, and you see older people that's getting ready to die, they see their end, they're in their 70s and 80s, and they see their end, and they know that the time is coming. A lot of them become real bitter about the opportunities and chances they didn't take in their younger years. They are upset about allowing themselves to be misled by the government. They're upset that they allowed themselves to be fooled by their parents' ideology. They were trying to live up to their father's 
uh, expectations, live up to their mother's expectations, live up to society's expectations, and they be mad because they know that that was a waste of time and they done already wasted and they can't go back and do it over. And they be trying to tell you like, yo, don't, don't, don't hesitate. Don't procrastinate. Don't waste no time. Fuck is he looking at? Fuck is he looking at? Don't waste no time. Don't, 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 don't. You see, it's an opportunity. Seize it. Carpe diem. It's a chance. And it's a good chance. It's a chance you could take it and put you in prison. Or you could lose his money. Take it. You get more money. You get more money. You understand? You better go for yours. You better go for yours. Hit that like button, y'all. Hit that like button, man. Hit, hit the like button. 67 people with the like. Thank y'all. 97 people in the room. What's up? What's up? You like these bees, don't you? Yeah, I know you do. You want to pay, don't you? Yeah, well, you better go get you a pay because you can't have these. I never give you these bees. Nobody. Except little Sean. That's the only one I give these bees to. I went all the way to Brazil to get these bees. I got these bees in Brazil. Look at that. The fly bees. My bees better than your bees. My bees better than your bees. You ain't even got no bees. My bees is the best. And look at how they look on my skin. I got some pretty ass skin. Look at my body too though, man. I don't know why I look like this. I don't know why I'm 54 years old and I got this kind of body. And I don't take no supplements. I don't take no nothing. I don't take nothing. All y'all young, you in your 20s and 30s, your body beat down, you smoke weed, your breath stink, you got no motivation. You smoking fentanyl in the weed. You smoking pesticides in the weed. You smoking Roundup in the weed. They pouring antifreeze on the weed. They putting all kind of shit, battery acid on the weed. And you smoke it up and you wonder why you in a constant state of panic. You understand? You in a constant state of depression. You in a constant state of lethargy. You understand? You got no enthusiasm, no zest for life. Cause you fucked up. You get high, you drink, you destroy yourself. You blame somebody else, but you destroy yourself. Your life fucked up cause of you. My life is all that. 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 As above, so below. That's the principle, the second principle in the Kabbalion, written by the three initiates. Huh? The hermetic principles, the seven hermetic principles, the, the seven keys. Mentalism, correspondence, vibration, polarity, rhythm, cause and effect, and gender, the seven principles. The second one is correspondence. As below, so above. As below, as above, so below. My body look like this on the outside because it look good on the inside. As below, so above. You see somebody who's disheveled, no haircut, no grooming, no hygiene. You understand? Clothes is dusty. That's because their mind is like that. That's because they mind is like that. You go to my apartment right now with me and little Sean live at. That's with me, with me and little Sean live at. Everything is neat. All the dishes, ain't no dishes in the sink. I wash the dishes. Soon as I eat something out the dish, the dish dirty. I'm not leaving no dirty dishes in the sink. I'm not leaving no dirty dishes in the sink. I'm not leaving no dirty dishes, not even a spoon. Before I go to sleep, it won't even be a spoon in the sink. Fuck that. I got to wash that. My sink be clean. My stove be clean. I wipe my stove down. I spray it. Wipe my table. 
my room, everything is neat, my sneakers is order. My house is orderly because my mind is orderly. If your house is junky, cause your mind junky. As above, so below. Whatever, whatever you feeling on the inside, you can't conceal that. That shit shows. It shows your body language. I can see how you walk, how you talk, your eye contact. That tell me everything of what's going on with you on the inside. Yes, it do. Yes, it do. You ever see a drunk man? You ever see a drunk man, he be, he be stumbling? Or somebody that's real high, they eyes be like this? You can see it, so you already know that the inside is polluted. They polluted. It's polluted. It's polluted. Her womb is so polluted, I can't even have a fucking baby with her. Look at that. I got a junkie for a wife. Her womb is so polluted, I can't even have a baby with her. Yeah. yeah. I don't have the money right here. You had the stuff? I don't have the stuff with me here right now. I got it close by. You got the money? No, no. I don't have the money right here. I got it close by too. What the fuck difference does it make? You want me to come back out? I go back in, we start all over. I just want to get to know you. You get to know me when you start doing business and stop fucking around, Hector. You want me to go back out? I come back in, we start all over. Hit that like button, man. So that's it, that's the way it go. You got to live your life the way you live your life. You want me to come back out? I come back in, start all over. I just want to get to know who I'm doing business. You will get to know, do you? You get to know me when you stop doing business and stop fucking around, Hector. So that's the way it go. It's your life. You live it the way you want to live it. I don't care how you live your life. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think about y'all during my day. I think about me and my life and my breath and my oxygen and my end. When is going to be my end? You know, when my life ends, will I be satisfied with my performance? When my life ends, will Sean, will I have Sean prepared for my life to end? That's what I think about. I don't think about you. Man, I don't care nothing about you. No, I don't. No, I don't. And you don't care nothing about me neither. You just watch me on YouTube, that's it. But you don't care nothing about me. And I, you ain't supposed to. You ain't supposed to, that ain't your job. That's my job to care about me. Your job is to care about you. Everybody's job is to care about themselves. That's what we doing here. That's what we doing here. What are you gonna do?
the the hoof the thing the paw the got caught in the thing the, the what do you call it the hoof the hoof yeah the hoof we had to hack it off hey that looks like somebody we know it looks like somebody we know hey i kind of like this picture you got one dog looking this way the other dog looking that way and the man is like what do you want from me i watch my movies man i know my movies man. that right there gave me a super chat big lou big lou thank you man for the super chat you ain't supposed to love nobody more than you love you you supposed to have a total love affair with yourself you supposed to be madly in love with you and with your circumstance and your reality you're supposed to be madly in love with yourself. You understand? And if you're in a situation, if you're in a reality right now, if you're in a circumstance where you don't really like yourself, you don't like your circumstance, then change it. Then you got to change it. Nobody's coming with a first aid kit. Nobody's coming with an ambulance. Nobody's coming... Uh, with Red Cross, the blood blank, nobody's coming to do none of that. Nobody coming. You on your own. You on your own. And don't get mad when they don't come. Because remember, I'm telling you. Remember, I'm telling you. Don't get mad when they don't come. You got to show up. You got to be there. You got to dust yourself off and pick yourself up. That's your job. That's your job. You understand? Be a man. Always be a man. Always be a man. If you a man, then be a man. If you a woman, then be a woman be the best one that you can be be the best one that you could be don't worry about nobody else worry about yourself mind your business quit gossiping talking about people you understand I don't talk about other people I don't care about other people I don't care what they do I don't care what other people do. Knock yourself out. Go run into a tree. I don't care. Nope. I care about me. I love me. I love me. Period. Point blank and frank. You can tell. You can tell I love me. You look at how I look. You look at how I look. You can tell how I look. I love me. You understand how I talk? All that, how I dress, how I keep myself looking right. I keep my hygiene up. I stay looking good, man. Motherfuckers be like, damn, that nigga there look good. Be like, yeah, I know I do. I know I do. Say, how you look like that? Say, don't worry about it. You figure it out for yourself. I had to figure out mine for myself. You understand? I had to figure out mine myself. Man, what they think about me is none of my business, man. What you got to say about me, I don't care. I don't care. I'm better than you. You say whatever you want about me, I'm still better than you. I'm better than you. I'm better than you. No matter what you say about me, I'm better than you. Better than you. Better than all 8 billion people in the world. Better than everybody better than everybody better than everybody man. I don't care about nobody but me sit better than everybody I'm better than everybody I built this life I built this life myself one day at a time I built this life one day at a time Jack do you understand me no help. 
and I'm finna take it to a whole new level. Georgia Gumby still alive. Georgia Gumby still alive. I don't know why I look like this. I don't know why I look like this. I don't know why I look like this, man. I don't know why I look good like this. Thank everybody for the 86 likes. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. I built this life. I built this life on my own. I don't work for nobody. I don't collect no W-2. I don't got no job. I got no boss, no supervisor. The fuck out of here. Could you imagine me? Could you imagine me having a supervisor, me asking a nigga, yo, I got to take Sean to a baseball tournament. Can I get off work early? Man, never that. Never that. Never that. Nope. 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 I do what I want to do. I do what I want to do. I own my time. I own my own time. I don't work for no man. I don't get no check. You don't tell me what to do. I ain't got no 401k. I ain't got no dental plan. I ain't got no health insurance. I don't, I didn't, I don't subscribe to nothing of the uh, matrix, the plug-in program they plug you in and tell you do this do that turn left turn right about face spin i don't listen to none of that i built this life here on my own i work for myself this is the united states of america you can become an entrepreneur here if you all you got to do is want to do it 93 likes thank y'all I built my own shit, man, cleaning windows. I started cleaning windows, man. I started cleaning windows. I built this life cleaning windows, man. Yes, I did. I lost $1.2 million. $1,160,000. That's what I lost. I always rounded up to 1.2. The exact amount was about $1,160,000. I lost all of that shit. Motherfuckers betrayed me, stabbed me in the back, ratted on me, told on me, was willing to testify against me, family, friend, fake friends. Man, I lost it all. I was down in the basement. But I had to lose it all in order to find myself. I had to suffer a total loss in order for me to totally find myself and change. And change. And it was a part of the process. It was a part of the process. I got out of prison. I couldn't even get a job. I couldn't even get a job at Wendy's. I went to Wendy's. I said, yo, let me work on the fry station. I mean, I ain't say it like that, but I applied fry station. I wanted to cook French fries. They wouldn't let me cook French fries. They says, you're a felon. You're a convicted felon. You're bad. You're bad. You're a convicted felon. You're bad. We don't trust you. You're a black male, a foundational American black convicted felon male. We hate you. You can't cook French fries. The, the minimum wage was $9 an hour. I wanted that $9 an hour. I wanted that $9. I cleaned windows in the joint for $5.10 a month. My job in prison was window washing. I made $5.10 a month. Yes, I did. And I had to report to work every day. Then I left being a window washer and I went and worked in the education department. And then my, my pay, my pay increased from 
$5.10 a month to $32.10 a month. I worked in the education department. A month. So they wouldn't give me the job. I tried to get a job at the gym, Gold's Gym. They wouldn't hire me either. They said, you're bad. You're a convicted felon. You're bad. And you're doomed for failure. You can't change. And you're a black male, a foundational black American male, criminal, convicted felon with a federal crime. No, you can't work here. And I was 47 years old, motherfucker. Man, that didn't stop me. That didn't stop me at all. You see what you see what it turned. Man, look at them. God damn, look at that turtle shell. I don't know why I look good like this. I came all the way back. I came all the way back. Fuck y'all job. I don't want to work for you now. I don't work for nobody. How do you like that? I don't work for nobody. I'm a goddamn man. I work for me. I know how to kill a zebra. I can kill that wildebeest over there. I can catch it. I can kill a goddamn giraffe. Everything out here I can kill. Gazelle. I can, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat. You know what I'm saying? I ain't begging no man for no job. Yep, I built this life. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I knew I was going to do it. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I knew I was going to do it. My faith was strong. My faith was strong. My faith in myself was strong. I was already at the bottom. I had lost everything. I was so low, the next, the next step down was death. The next step down was the cemetery. So I couldn't do nothing but go up. All I had to do was just be patient and work and get up every day and work. I was in great shape. So I knew physically I could do anything. Mentally, my mind was clear. I had let go of my mistakes. I had let go of my past. I had forgave myself. I had forgave myself for my mistakes. I had apologized to myself for putting myself in a bad spot, you know? And I said, Sean, I'm gonna be your friend from here on out. I'm not gonna jerk you no more. I'm gonna show you love. I'm gonna love you. Cause I always loved other people more than I love myself. I said, Sean, fuck everybody else. Don't love nobody, love you, fuck them. And that's the strategy I've been on and I've been succeeding in winning. That's what I do. I don't care if you like it or not. I don't care. 99 likes, almost 100. Ooh, ooh, look at them abs, ugh. Watch somebody hit that 100 like button, watch this. Boop. There it go, 101, there it go. There it go, there it go. See, America, United States of America tries to make you, especially the foundational black American male, like me and my people, they, it's a deliberate and pernicious attempt to make us feel inferior and hate ourselves and believe that we can't achieve. Yeah, it's the indoctrination, it's the indoctrination. And they had me at one point, I was believed that. I believe that, but then I shook that off. I shook that off, I said they lying. Just like they lying about everything else. They lying, they lying. Like they lying about everything else. You understand? And I believed in me. I believed in me. Thank y'all for the, for the 109 likes, man. Appreciate y'all. What time is it, man? What time is it? 825. Yo, y'all gonna buy them shorts or what? Y'all gonna get a pair of shorts or what? Who gonna buy a pair of shorts? Go in my store right now and get a pair of shorts. Hurry up. Get the black, get the, I got a, a black extra large and a black 2X. Them the last two black pair. And I got 
a medium, large, extra large, and 2X in the white. And I got a couple of them in the orange. But I'm finna be sold out. Go buy a pair, hurry up. Go buy a pair. I worked out today, I did a full routine. I don't know why I look like this, man. I look great. I look fantastic, man. I love me. I look fucking amazing. This is nine years worth of working out, man. I look like this. I've been working out for nine years. Nine straight. No, no more in the last nine years. I ain't took no more, maybe one time, I maybe took like a three or four day rest in nine years. I've probably done over two million reps of calisthenics, man. My shit is locked in. My body, my muscles, my look is locked in. I ain't worked out in three weeks. Me and Sean was in um, Florida. He was playing baseball. I did that one push-up video that I went live at that hotel. What else I did? That was it. It was too goddamn hot down there. I ain't, I didn't work out for like three weeks and I still look like this. Cause I don't lift no weights and I don't take no supplements. Who that right there? Goddamn DGFX. OG, can you tell us what happened to your other channel? I took my other channel down, man. I took my other channel down myself. YouTube, I had 97,000 subscribers. I was stuck there for like five, six months. I had 4,500 videos uploaded to that channel. And when I would go into my analytics, YouTube was telling me that I was only generating 100 to 120,000 views a month. So if you do the math, 120,000 views divided by 4,500, that's like saying that each of my videos was only getting 25 views a month. One a day, that's not even one view a day. That's what they were compensating me on for my content. But I know that my content is the best, right? I'm the one that started the New York Park interviews. Other motherfuckers try to bite my style and do it. They can't do it. I'm the originator of that. I'm the creator of that. I'm worldwide known for that. You understand? My videos are legendary. My content is um, unique. It's elite. So I took my channel down. They weren't compensating me right. So I'm gonna take my content. I still own it all. And I'm gonna package it. And I'm gonna try to sell it to HBO, Showtime, Hulu, Netflix, Pixar, BET. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go for the big check. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put together a series. I'm gonna put together a series. I got over like 800 videos. So I could put together a series and get two, three million dollars for it. So that's what happened to the channel. You know, thank you for the super chat. Howard Cooper, what's up? My content is the best. I got all of the I got all of the interviews. Nobody did what I was doing. Nobody could do what I was doing. You understand? I was going into these parks, into these ghettos, and interviewing niggas on 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 the humbug just off the rip. They're not knowing me. I'm not knowing them. I'm just interviewing them. 
And them videos, you saw how them interviews was, man. Them interviews saved people's lives around the planet. Every day, every day, there's not a day that goes by that I don't get an email, a DM, or a question from somebody saying, Sean, where's those channels? Where's your other channel? Where's those interviews? I used to watch them. It was Some people had one particular video they would watch over and over and over. So I know what I got. I know what I got. And I own it. I own it. Don't nobody else own it. I own it. It's mine. I'm going to catch up with some of the dudes. I'm going to get them to um, see if they want to get down with me and let me use their uh, image in the series. And um, if they want to do it, fine. If they don't, fine. I got enough people that will be willing to do it. And... Um, I'm going for the big check. YouTube pays peanuts. YouTube promotes uh, black buffoonery, uh, uh, black nigga shit, dumb, you know, dumb down buffoonery. You know, the rap music is beneath me. The YouTube algorithm promotes uh, um, dunce level content. They promote um, distractive content. Content with no substance. That's what they promote. Right? Um, so if you're not doing that, then YouTube is gonna pay you peanuts. This all happened before um, the uh, the Corona the Corona thing, man. <clears throat> and um, you know, before before the Corona thing, YouTube was paying. You know, but once they started censoring and shadow banning people. If you're doing, if you're doing, right, uneducated, right, content that doesn't require much thinking, if you're making people laugh, if you're doing, if you're doing, if you're doing that, they're going to promote that because they want you to remain dumb. They don't want you to be enlightened and be aware of your surrounding and your reality. They want you to not be uh, Rep Avalos. Love your channel, Sean. Shout out from Perth Dan Boy. Rep Avalos, thank you, man. Perth Dan Boy down there on the parkway. I see you. If you're promoting, you know what I'm saying, things that aren't real, you know, they're gonna they're gonna promote that. You know, they want you to be uninformed and distracted. That's what they want you to be. They don't want you to be on point. They don't want you to be enlightened. They don't want you to be ready. So they're not gonna pay you for that. They want you to be unhealthy, right? They want you to continue to eat the processed food, the GMO, genetically modified food. They want you to be on medication. They want you to smoke weed. They want you to drink. They want you to be in a state of um, a state of dumbness that's what they want you know what I'm saying so that's what it is I'm a man first so I don't sell my soul to nobody I don't need to be fit in I don't need to, to be fit in with anybody I know I know I'm the best I know for a fact I'm the best I gave birth so many dudes came on my channel. I gave birth to a lot of dudes through my channel. I gave people sources of income through my channel. So no matter what they say, no matter what anybody say, 
200 years from now or whenever, if they ever talking about calisthenics in New York in 2018, 2019, 2020, what were they doing in New York in the calisthenics arena? It could be 600 years from now. What was they doing in 2018, 2019, 2020 in New York? This is nigga named Sean G. Who was that? Oh, this is nigga. He used to go around to all the niggas in the park and shoot random videos in the park. I'm cemented. My legacy is cemented with this New York calisthenic shit. Cemented. Cemented. And I look good. Not only did I shoot the content, I could do the I could do the calisthenics. You understand? Say, so that's what it is, man. That's what it is, man. Shout out to my man, Rap Avalos, man. Thank you for that super chat, man. Shout out to everybody that gave me super chat, man. I appreciate y'all. Josh GFX, Josh GFX, thank you, man for your super chat too. <clears throat> yep. What y'all wanna talk about now? I gotta change my sneakers, man. Hold up. I gotta change my sneakers. Hold up. I gotta change my sneakers, hold up. I don't drink liquor, I drink water, man. I let you drink liquor and pollute your body, destroy your body. Yo, shout out to New Balance, man. Yo, New Balance, call me, man. Call me, man. Me and Lil Sean wear New Balance. Call me, let's do a deal, man. I'll do a deal with y'all as long as y'all don't do none of that stuff right there. Like Nike and Adidas did. Shout out to Kanye West, man. Shout out to Ice Cube. Shout out to all the black men that fight and stick up for themselves and show self-respect and self-esteem. Death to all the black men that are afraid. Man, it's almost quarter to nine. I'm gonna go home. What I'm gonna make me? Probably make me some eggs. I probably fry me some eggs with some tuna fish. Then I'm going to sleep early so I can get up early tomorrow. I appreciate all y'all for coming through. I want to thank everybody for the super chats. Thank everybody for the likes. I'll probably see y'all sometime tomorrow. Y'all wanna go live tomorrow or what? Y'all wanna go live tomorrow or what? Yes or no, hurry up. All right, yeah, Rep Avalos, man, thank you, man. I'll see y'all tomorrow, man. We go live tomorrow. We do it again tomorrow. 
I'll probably do another workout joint. I probably my shoulder better, man. My shoulder don't hurt no more. My shoulder better. All right, let me get up out of here, man. Peace, Bella Napoli, Batcave, what up? All right, peace, man.